my name is Nakia Dyson and I am the $100,000 Optimal Nutrition Transformation Challenge winner. I'm here today to share my journey with you, um, to tell you about the steps that I actually went through to get here, um, basically through my training, my supplementation, and my nutrition. Everything that I went through from the beginning of the challenge until now that brought me to this point. I'm a mom of four, and I have four little ones that range from age two to eight. My husband had initially started working out, and then I decided to kind of take, you know, take his lead. He went on and did it, and then it was such an example. And in December, I just so happened jumped up and like, okay, I'm going to start working out. And I said, I'm going to do a profile on bodybuilding.com. That same week was when the challenge was actually announced. And I introduced it to him, and the funny thing was, he didn't even want to do the challenge to start with. I actually had to talk him into doing the challenge. And then from there, we just, you know, put everything in, signed up, and just went at it. And we kind of made it a challenge between the two of us. Instead of like the challenge itself, it was kind of like a competition amongst us, you know, just keeping each other up, going back and forth. How are we going to do it? You know, keeping one another accountable throughout the whole 12 weeks. Given the fact that he is a contractor and he travels extensively with work, so he was gone throughout the 12 week challenge, he was gone for the 11 weeks. He was actually only home with me the last week of the challenge when we did our photo shoot. But throughout the time, we would talk to every day, we would talk to one another via Skype and just really kind of go through the training, you know, ask how, ask each other, you know, how was the training going, what did you do. Going on this journey has definitely been a benefit for myself and for my husband, but a huge benefit for our family. Now that we're basically leading by example, our children see that and they acknowledge that. You know, when we're fixing, you know, our meals, they know, okay, mommy's gonna have a protein drink now, or mommy's eating her chicken or tilapia. And I, it's funny because my four-year-old, they're like, I'm getting muscles too. I remember one morning I was getting ready to go to the gym and I, my two of my younger ones were in the family room and they were on the floor doing crunches and leg raises. And they're like, we're getting big muscles like mommy and daddy. With anything, it's always important to set goals. You have to really detail what it is you're trying to achieve. And not only that, I think it's really important to be able to visualize the end result. Once you're able to do that, then it's easier to try to achieve it. With us, like I said, it was just a matter of setting those goals and just really being determined to just go forth and go out and get it. And I stated that I wanted to get down to 10% body fat. I made it to 11 at the end of the challenge. It's really great because I started with 25, 26% raise. As for my husband, his body fat, he actually got down to 4%, which is just amazing. But really, what's more impressive to me is that over the last year leading up to the end of the challenge, he has lost over a total of 100 pounds. This challenge in itself has just been a phenomenal experience from start to finish, even up until this point. When you set your mind to it, you, you can't let anything take that away from you. You can't let anything stop anything that you're doing. Well, now that you know a little bit about me, let's go ahead and jump into some details about my training and what I actually did to get me to this point. With my training in itself, it's, it's intense, but I've also learned that with my training, it brings me a sense of peace. When I go in, I know that when I go to those gym doors, I have a job to do. I go in, I'm focused, and my thing is to execute every single move that's on my plan without any excuses, without underestimating myself, but just go in full force because when I walk through the gym doors to go back out, there's no should have, no could have, no would have. I have to leave it all in the gym and it's gonna go in the books, and that's it. Throughout my training, um, like I said, I did a five or a six day split. A typical week, I would start out Monday, I would head back and calves. On Tuesdays, I would do chest, abs, and cardio. On Wednesday, I would do um, legs and cardio. On Thursday, um, it was kind of like a more so, I'm not going to say off day, but I wasn't actually, you know, training like full force, all out training. It was calves, abs, and cardio. Friday, shoulder and abs, one of my favorites to work out. I like to see the striations in the shoulders. On Saturday, buys and tries. That's my ultimate favorite. I love doing my arms. Well, with the challenge and stuff, like now I do a combination of low rep and high rep. I pretty much stayed in the range of eight to 12 and just really tried to go as heavy as I could uh, with, with everything. I would follow each training section with, um, or each training session with cardio, high intensity cardio. And that consisted of 30, 35 minutes. The only thing is that at the end of my challenge, to really focus on bringing that body fat percentage down, I pretty much, 
you know, selecting another form of cardio, which was just walking on a treadmill at a slow pace. So I did high impact, low impact, and that's pretty much it. My, um, Monday through Saturday with Sunday being off, of course. A typical off day for me is my kids, like, we're not going to the gym. Like, what are we doing at home? I do so much training, you know, during the week. When it's like we're constantly going that when Sunday comes around, I really just need to dedicate some time to them and do the family thing. Now that you know about my training program and all the steps that I took to get to this point, we're going to move on to details on my nutrition. If you want to get full details of my actual workout and the training that I did, look below. I really don't like using the term diet because, like I said, it's a lifestyle change. Once you commit to it, this is not just short term. It's not something you're going to do for a quick fix for one week or two weeks. It's about changing your mindset, changing your life, committing to it, and then striving hard each day. You have to maintain, you have to go at it every day, day in and day out, making sure you're getting your meals on time, making sure you're eating what you're supposed to, because if not, all your efforts are pretty much gonna be failed at that point. My meal plan was actually created, designed for me by my trainer, Steve Pointer. Basically, it, it really contained a lot of the staple, I guess, clean eating items, oatmeal, tilapia, chicken breast, um, of course, the veggies, and then bananas, sweet potatoes. Very clean, very regimented, same thing every single day. Um, I pretty much follow where I would do my regular meal intake, um, the same thing for three to four days, and then rotate in a high carb day. On my high carb days, I would include bananas, sweet potatoes to three of my meals. Like I said, typical clean eating, protein shakes are in there, whole food meals, you have the four to five ounces of fish or chicken, and then you have your veggies. So it was really simple. I have six meals a day, and I pretty much, I'm a stickler on the time. I have timers that goes off, two and a half hours tops, I'm having my next meal. I know it's very important that I have to pack my meals in advance. I like to do everything well in advance. I know preparation and consistency is extreme key in anything with training or eating. If you're not prepared in advance, then that's when those slip ups happen. I've learned that with doing any type of change, making any type of change, eating, training, I mean just anything in life, it's mental. You have to really set your mind for it because if your mindset is not there, if you're not focused on it, it's going to be hard to do. In the very beginning, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't perfect. You know, you had those days where you're wanting something. I mean, I have four little ones. I have a pantry full of snacks <laughs> that I have to go and fix lunch. So every day I have to consciously, you know, make that effort. I'm going to eat clean today. I'm not going to have a snack. And then once it becomes routine, that's, that's all it is, it's routine. And it becomes easy for me, and now it doesn't even bother me. Now that you know about my nutrition and all the details of what I did throughout the journey, let's move on to my supplementation. If you want more details on my nutrition and everything that I did, look below. Starting with this journey was the very first time I had to start me doing any type of supplement. Prior to doing this challenge, I was against it I, completely. And the reason why I feel against it is just that I didn't want to take anything. I just felt like, okay, if I, you know, work out, go do cardio or train, then that should be enough. Not realizing that, you know, if you're following a, a clean approach with your eating, your training with a certain intensity, the supplements actually are beneficial and can help you. And so now that I do it, I actually do have a regimen that I follow and I stick to it every single day. From the time I wake up, um, I start with, you know, my fat burners. During my actual meals, um, I actually have vitamins and multivitamins that I take. In um, addition to the multivitamin, I take a super B complex. It's just something that I need by choice. My pre-workout, I take amino energy, which is by far my favorite item. Um, in addition to the amino energy, I do the, uh, the nitric oxide, the white blood, and I combine those. Also, I do a scoop of my BCAAs by Optimum, um, and that's all prior to my workout. After my workout, I do protein drink, and then I'll also add a scoop of the amino energy. It's just for recovery after the fact, which is really great. I also do the fat burners later in the day. It's one, cap one to two capsules, um, I think prior to my third meal, if I'm not mistaken. And then the other supplementation is just the proteins that I have as meals throughout the day. For instance, at night, my last meal, I'll do my nitro four or my casein, depending on you know which one I'm going to take that night. I'm a firm believer in you need to know what you're taking 
what, you know, the reasoning behind it in order to get the full effects from it. Because some people it just takes off and you know, you have no clue. I think it's extremely important and beneficial to really know everything that you're doing, you know, for yourself. I think it's important that if you're doing training, you need to supplement Every, you know, all the areas. If you're taking care of your training, you're putting the foods in your body that you need, you also need those supplements that's gonna help build the muscle that you're trying to create. If not, then it's kinda like you're going at it and you're not getting the results that you want. And that's the only way you're gonna be able to make those gains. Now that you know all about me, if you'd like to get more details on my training, nutrition, and supplementation, make sure you check the page below. Or if you have questions for me, make sure you look me up on Body Space. My username is ndice, N-D-Y-C-E. To get more information like this, make sure and check out bodybuilding.com.